congrats Giselle Cruz on getting Youth of the Month. You too can get Youth of the Month by being an active participant at the Camp Humphreys Youth Center. I'm your host, Jill Beth Basham, and this is episode nine of YCTV. Stick around, cause up next is Game On. Get out to the forest. Let the kids connect to their roots. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey guys, wait up! And discover the wonders of nature with your family. These trees are the key to our way of life. Fresh air. What a glorious morning! Clean water. Woohoo! This is Woo! great! An endless forest adventure. Yeah! Let's rock this jungle! Yo, this is untapped territory. How amazing! <laughs> Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Summer Hire Program of 2014. We're the future leaders of America. Remember our name. <laughs> Welcome to another segment of Game On! Bori Bori Sa! Bori Bori Sa! Bori Bori Sa! Game On! My name is Joshua Simon, and this is Jason Yoon. And today, we're going to teach you how to play the traditional game called Bodhisa. Now, Bodhisa is a Korean traditional game often played by the children around here, right? Yes. So, we're going to show you how to play this game. First, you need two people. Like so. The first person is going to fold their hand into a fist. Don't worry. And the second person will have their hands open like so. Now the person with the fist is going to gently punch the person's palms, all the while chanting a certain word, such as Bori, 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 Sa. Now, when you catch them saying a different word, yeah, it is your cue to catch their hands in your palms. What do you say we play a few rounds, eh? Yes. All right, let's go. This round, ready? Go! Bori, 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 Sal! Ah, I got you! Ha! Now it's my turn! Jove, 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 Banana! Ah! Good job! Alright! Banana, 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 Vemon! Ah! One more time! Jove, 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 Pizza! Alright! Time for the final round, ready? Here we go! Bori, 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 Zah! Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Game On. Bye. Bye. Bori Bori Sal. That's just fun to say. Thanks for the demo, Jason. Have you ever wanted to fly an actual helicopter? Well, some of our YCTV casting crew took a trip down to the flight simulator to see how hard it actually is in an all new career corner. So don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Command Sergeant Major Matthew McCoy, Garrison Command Sergeant Major. You're watching YCTV, why not? Checking your fantasy league? Nah, just my 401k statement. Mm, nice. Where'd you find the money for that? I've just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. Hi, I'm Timmy, and you're watching YCTV. In this month's segment of Career Corner, I'm here with Mr. Nocera. Thanks for being with us today. Well, thanks for stopping by. So, what is your job? I am uh, the Camp Humphreys Aviation Simulation Facility Manager. 
Wow, so what is the purpose of a flight simulator? Flight simulator, it's a cost reducer. The pilots can train on the simulator at a reduced cost rather than flying in the aircraft. Also, they can make the mistakes here in the simulator and not get hurt. Uh, it's uh, much cost effective and they can get to do things like emergency procedures here that they can't replicate in the aircraft. It's a high-tech uh, device, a lot of visual cues, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty high speed, and some people can get motion sickness, especially if you stare at the, at the, at the screens. That's nauseating. So what made you decide to be the flight simulation manager? Well, when I was 18, I joined the Marine Corps, and I was a crew chief. Uh, from then, I, I, I left the Marine Corps. I was, uh, uh, worked for a couple of companies building aircraft. Uh, didn't quite like the civilian life. So then I joined the Army in 1989, uh, retired in 2012, and uh, the one thing left was simulation, so I joined the uh, aviation simulation uh, here at Camp Humphreys, uh, and I've been here for about a year and a half now. That's great. What an amazing job. So I may have crashed a couple of helicopters, but that's okay because they weren't real. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Nocera. Are you wondering what's up with selfies, outfits of the day, and hashtags? Well, you're about to find out in an all new, brand new tech tips. Hey buddy, let's take a little walk. When I say go outside, we go outside. When I say fork it over, you fork it over. Hey, when I say pause the movie, we pause the movie. Come on, big boy. Pucker up. Cigarettes are bullies. Don't let tobacco control you. and we're here with Tech Tips. And today we're gonna to talk to you about Instagram. And Instagram is a social media where you can upload and see other people's pictures, basically. So here is your homepage, which is uh, like a news feed on everybody that you're following pictures that they uploaded and you can go see and like them and just scroll until you find pictures that you like and you can double tap. Um, at the top of your home page you have a direct button which is you can send a photo or video to uh, someone personally or a group personally. So you just click add, you would take the picture and then you would send the picture. Um, here is your explore page, which is you can search. You can search all of the users that are online or some friend that you know that has Instagram or using, or you can search by using hashtags like army. And then all things army would pop up. And you have this, you have the, you can upload your own photo. As you can see, we're on Instagram here, and we can take a picture. And then, 
as you can see, they have filters at the bottom where you can change the filter on the effect of the picture. And then you click next. And then you can write your own caption. And you click OK. You can, you have the option to Facebook get Twitter, Tumblr, others, Flickr. And you can also tag people. And you click done. And you click share. Or if you want to send it to somebody personally, you click direct. And you have to choose who you want to send it to. So, oh, and you also have the option to take a video. So you will hold the button. Hello, how are you? next and it'll show a video and you click next and upload it as well then you have uh, like the your own news your own news where it shows who you're following and what they their activity their recent activity is and then you have your section where you can see all the people who liked your photos or started following you on Instagram. Then you have your profile page, which shows all the uploaded photos and videos that you uploaded. And it shows your information in your own personal page. And you have settings, which basically it's just customization of your own page and that's a wrap shout out to our usag humphreys tumblr page usag humphreys.tumblr.com and our usag humphreys facebook page which can all be found on the instagram as links usag humphreys.tumblr.com Daekwon for showing us how to navigate Instagram. Up next, we're going to learn a brand new Korean phrase and an all new lingo swap that you're not going to want to miss. Pack of cigarettes? You need a little more, honey. What's a pack of smokes cost? Your smooth skin. See you again. Smoking causes wrinkles that age you prematurely. What are cigarettes costing you? Can you tell me where we are, where you're working at, and what do you do here? Uh, we're at the headquarters RR, and I work for Mr. Paul, and I document paperwork. Well, we're at the Garrison headquarters in Humphreys, and I work in a DMR downstairs, and we file papers, shred. <laughs> we're in the conference room of the Garrison headquarters in Pyeongtaek, Korea. Here, I made an Instagram page for Humphreys. I personally made the official USAG Humphreys Tumblr page, and I managed the Pinterest. I pretty much work wherever they need me to be. I basically just assist everybody who works here with whatever they need help with. 
So why did you join the summer hire program? Money. I wanted to make money during the break. At first I wanted money because I didn't have any. To be honest, I mean, needed money. Um, money, but college is like seeing that you have work experience, so that's another reason. So you have two options. You can work in a lion cage all summer, or you can work in an underwater shark fighting arena. Which one and why? Lion cage. What? <laughs> Probably the lion cage, because, uh, shark arena. The underwater shark fighting arena. Which one would you want to work at and why? Um, Neither. It just seems a lot cooler. The lion cage, because lions are awesome. A lion cage, because I can't swim. The shark, I think. The shark will probably catch me before I even get like two feet away. I'm with the sharks underwater. Sharks are, are nice. The ocean is so salty because sharks are crying because they just want hugs. Because I hate water. Because the ocean is pretty cool. <laughs> and then the lion, I can just like move around, climb trees or something. I don't know. Because I can die both ways, so. Okay, that's reasonable. Hello, my name is Andrew Von Weber, and welcome again to Lingo Swap. Today we're gonna t we're gonna say, "Nice to meet you." We're here at the Taekwondo International Camp Festival. I'm here with Miss Lonnie. Hello. Now, Miss Lonnie, I don't really know the Korean language too well, and I want to greet people. How do I say "nice to meet you"? 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. Okay. 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. Nice to meet you. Man, what a perfect phrase for the Taekwondo International Camp Festival, where all of us get together and speak to each other. That was it. See you next time on Lingo Swap. I can finally say nice to meet you in Korean. That is a great way to make a first impression when you meet someone in Korea. Our kind friends at AF and the Eagle let us return to their studio to talk about everything going on at the Youth Center during October. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones, and hanging out with me in the studio, a stranger. I don't even know who you are anymore, Jared. Oh, it hasn't been that long, has it? <laughs> it feels like it has. Mr. Jared Berg from uh, the uh, Youth Services over at Camp Humphreys, the CYSS Youth and Teen Centers, and you kind of just left it to the kids over the summer. I did, and it was great. They did such a good job. Oh, I listened to all those shows over the summer. Thank you for having them. They, absolutely. Was amazing. They were so fun. You know, we have a guitar here in the studio. If you ever stop by AFN Osan and um, check out our, our radio studio. We have a guitar that hangs up and I think I tortured um, no less than five of your kids with who has autographed our AFN guitar. Oh, they loved it, I'm sure. <laughs> I told them they had to come three times before I could tell them because it's super top secret. So um, it, it was definitely a pleasure having them over, but everybody's back in school now. Yeah, so we can't get them out. They're back in school. They wouldn't get here in time, so you're stuck with me now for, I, the, for the rest of the fall. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with that, Jared. No worries. I'm happy to be here, too. <laughs> Absolutely. So welcome back. We got lots to talk about now that school is in session. Some new clubs kicking off for the fall, some special events and uh, all sorts of great activities going on over there at the CYSS. Absolutely, we got a lot of new stuff coming up and uh, a lot of old stuff, old favorites coming up for the fall. Now the kids are back in school getting to regular routines. Absolutely, so stay tuned. We're gonna be talking about all of that this hour with Jared on AFNOS on the Eagle. Jared with me from the Humphreys CYSS hanging out telling us about all the cool things that they've got spinning up now that school's back in session. You guys aren't taking a break. 
Oh, no, we don't take breaks at CYS. We're working around the clock, 365 a year. Absolutely. And you guys have some uh, new clubs kicking off for the fall. Tell us um, what you guys got going on with the clubs. Yeah, well, we actually have a combination of some new clubs and some old clubs that uh, we bring back every year uh, for the fall when school starts. Um, and one of the two most important ones, in my mind anyway, are the Torch Club and the Keystone Club. Okay. Um, both are leadership organizations um, for youth um, to come into the centers. They help us plan our activities, plan oh. special events. It gives them opportunities to plan community service projects. Um, I know a lot of them need to get community service hours for school and for the community. Mm -hmm. um, so we're all off available to provide that service for them. Um, but it's all youth-led and youth-run. So they plan their own activities, their own events. Um, and then they help me and they help our staff plan um, you know, our special events and our calendars and all the things that we're going to talk about um, here today. So just like our daily um, activities. Absolutely. Um, so the Torch Club uh, is the uh, leadership group for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. Okay. And I wanted to mention them first um, because their first meeting is actually in about 20 minutes. Oh, wow. So if you're <laughs> over at Building 427 at the Hum Humphreys Youth Center right now, you're in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade, and you can hear my voice. Go find Miss Anya. Go find Miss Amanda. They'll let you know where the Torch Club meeting is. Very cool. A nice plug. Thank Just you, got thank that you. in there right under the wire. Um, and if you're not there and you still want to be part of the club, it meets every other Wednesday at 430 at the Youth Center. Um, and one of the best parts about it is if you miss the first meeting, the second meeting, the third meeting, it doesn't matter. You can come in at any time those meetings come. Um, you know, our families and our youth um, come in and out. PCS, you know, we always welcome new members into the club. Um, so just come in every, every other Wednesday. Uh, the first meeting, like I said, is today and the next one will be on October 8th at 4.30 p.m. and that's at Building 427 at the Youth Center. Very cool and the um, that, and that is the Keystone Club or the Torch Club? That is the Torch Club that's meeting today. Yes. So the Keystone Club is the high school version? Correct. It's a it's similar uh, concept, similar philosophy, um, just on a larger scale. Um, it's for 9th through 12th graders um, and they plan major events. They actually helped us last year plan the Teen Summer Jam that we oh, talked wow. about with the uh, Beach Blast. Yeah. Um, um, so that they help us plan those those big activities, um, but also a lot of a lot more community service as well. Because at the high school level, um, a lot of them are involved in JROTC or other organizations where they need to get community service, and uh, they plan almost uh, biweekly basis some kind of project that will set up um, and get those youth the uh, community service hours that they need. Some busy teens yeah, over absolutely. there. Absolutely, and, and you know that group we're always trying to get more for that older age group. They like to do some things that are separate from the middle school. Mm -hmm. um, so we use our Keystone Club as a stepping stone for those young people to plan their events and activities just for the high school youth. Absolutely. Um, and so those uh, meets on Thursday and that's going to start tomorrow and it's 6 p.m. and the kicker on this one is it meets at Starbucks. Ooh. So if you show up, I buy you a free Starbucks drink. <laughs> Can I come? Am Absolutely. I eligible? Come, come on over. <laughs> Very cool. And then you guys are also doing some 4-H clubs for the fall as well. Um, absolutely. We do these every year. We have our 4-H art uh, club, our 4-H science club. Um, and this year we get to offer our 4-H Korean culture and language club. We oh, tried neat. to get it going last year, but we ran into some staffing issues. Um, but we have a, a Miss Lani, a young lady staff member with us um, this year, who is going to get the Korean culture club going. And she's already got some field trips lined up for the young oh. people. Um, they're looking to go over to the palace out in Seoul, um, a couple shopping malls, a Korea folk village in Suwon. Um, so the concept behind that club is they're going to meet uh, twice a month mm -hmm. um, and they're going to learn some phrases and terms based on a theme that they can go out on the second meeting, out on a trip or out in the community and try to practice and use in those words and phrases. Oh, so we're really excited like, for that one. Yeah, that sounds like a great opportunity um, to kind of explore some of their host nation Absolutely. while they're stationed they here. Take advantage of the culture that, that's directly around them and, you know, get them off post and, and see what's available. Absolutely. So all sorts of clubs are being offered over there. Now that the school year is in session, how do we get more information on uh, the different clubs over there, Jerry? Uh, well, you could call me at 753-5614. Or you can visit our uh, Facebook page, uh, Facebook uh, Humphreys slash team. Um, or you can contact the Parent Central Office to get registered for the Youth Center, which is 753-8274. Very cool. We'll be right back. I'm going to have your weather forecast coming up after this. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. 
Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. I got Jared from the Humphreys CYSS talking about all the great events that they have coming up over there. And, you know, now that school's back in session, you guys get to kind of like take a break and hang out and, and not do too much because you don't have the kids all day. Right, Jared? That was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. <laughs> Absolutely not. We're working all the time, making things better and uh, uh, coming up with new ideas, new programs and working hard to, to get the kids, you know, come uh, after school, come in the doors and, and see what we can offer them. And, and that's why we're here today. Absolutely. And you guys have some um, really cool special events coming up. Tell us kind of what's on your radar for the next uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, we always try to do uh, two, three or four, you know, uh, different sizes, uh, special events for, for the youth on the weekends, um, especially when school starts. Like you said, now that uh, they're back in school, we got to try to do a lot more on the weekends than we would um, in the summertime. In the summertime, right. we have them, you know, all day, every day. We can do, we want to go to a movie on a Wednesday night, we can do that. But right. during the school year, we got to try to do it more on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, so one of the first things we're trying to do is is on October 11th at 5 o'clock. We're going to take the group down to uh, AK Plaza at downtown Pyeongtaek. Um, it's a trip we do sem- semi-regularly, um, but what we're noticing now with the new school year is a lot of new families and new students and, and uh, new youth coming through the door. So we want to take them out um, right outside our gate. It's about a 15-minute bus trip nice. um, to see downtown Pyeongtaek, uh, take a walk around the town and, and see what the Korean culture is all about down there, um, give them an opportunity to do some shopping. I know a lot of them need some, you know, want new clothes or this and that for the new school year. So there's tons of stores and things that they can do that at, um, as well as we'll, we'll try to take them to a uh, restaurant, has some dinner and depending on the movie schedule um it usually doesn't come out till a week ahead of time um we'll maybe head down to ak plaza and see if we can catch a movie for for the youth as well so we'll spend the whole friday night down there from 5 to 10 p.m oh, um, awesome. on october 11th and uh basically it's up to the group who signs up you know what they want to do we'll split them up into groups with different staff members and we'll hit the different stores and and we'll go see the movie if it's rated properly and the youth want to see it uh and and go to any restaurant that they want just give an opportunity to explore um the neighbor you know right down the street Absolutely. And what age range are you guys opening up that field trip to? Um, this trip is open for anybody from 6th through 12th grade who okay. is registered with CYSS. Um, and again, they can get registered for free at building 1127. Um, just call 753 753- Eight two seven four to set up a registration appointment. Just a couple pieces of paper to fill out so I have emergency contacts, no charge, no fees. Um, just get signed up and they can take part in all our trips and everything that we do at the youth center. Easy peasy. And what would you say maybe to like parents that just got here to Korea, they've got a sixth grader, maybe they haven't been stationed overseas with their kids yet, and maybe they're a little bit worried about you know sending their uh, kids outside the gate with uh, the youth and teen center. Um, what would you kind of say to those parents Well, I uh, encourage them to come into Building 427 and talk to me. Okay. Um, you know, I can show them exactly what we do. I can introduce them to the staff members. Um, I'll give them an orientation for the parents and the youth at any time. They don't need to set up an appointment. Just walk through the door at Building 427. Call me at 753-5614. Um, I'll give them all the schedules, talk to them, you know, address any concerns that they may have, and hopefully be able to convey the great opportunities that are out here. Um, and to do it through the youth center is is the safest way to do it. We, we take real good care of them. Um, we really enjoy our staff is really enjoys what they do and, and, and they love going on these trips as well and, and interacting with the youth and making sure that they're safe and having a good time. So again, come on into building 427. Call me at 753-5614 and give you full details of how our entire program operates. That's awesome. And you guys do have a great group of staff members over there and you're planning something special for just the middle schoolers coming up the Friday following, correct? Yeah. Yes, we are. This is going to be the second uh, time that we do this. It's on October 18th. We're doing a middle school homecoming dance. Okay. Um, the school approached us last year. Um, the school does a high school homecoming, and they asked if we would be able to provide a dance for the middle schoolers. Oh, cool. And we, we provide dances on a regular basis, so we jumped at that opportunity. Um, and we ended up having almost 100 youth wow. show up to our homecoming dance last year. Uh, 92 to be exact. That's awesome. So our goal for this year is to get over 100 6th, 7th, and 8th graders to come to our middle school homecoming dance. It's on Saturday, October 18th. That's the day after the big football game. And it's going to take place from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. at the Zeckler Fitness Center at Camp Humphreys. That's awesome. Is there a sign-up for that? 
that's the best part about this for this one event and one only since we're partnering with the school they don't even have to be CYS registered oh that's amazing we're gonna have uh, you know volunteers and chaperones and then our entire staff will be there as well but as long as they're in the school and in 6th 7th or 8th grade they are welcome to come to the middle school homecoming dance on Saturday October 18th at the Zeckler Fitness Center from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. Um, no pre-registration needed. It's a $5 cover charge at the door, and that's just to cover the expense of our DJ. Yeah. Um, we have a, a professional DJ coming in. Um, we used him many, many times, and the kids love him. He was at the Beach Blast Forum. He did our homecoming last year. Uh, very interactive. Um, lots of games and stuff, and, you know, takes requests and all that. Every time he does a dance, the kids just just love it. Yeah. Um, so that $5 is just for us to, to cover those DJ expenses, um, and we will be providing finger foods. We'll have sandwiches and punch and sodas and things like that, um, as well as some games and activities and things for them to do at the Zeckler Fitness Center that day. That sounds like an amazing event just for the middle schoolers. You guys get your own homecoming dance, so definitely check that out going on October 18th. We'll be right back with Jared with more from Humphrey CYSS next. This is YCTV. So we are here where it all began at the CPAC office, and I am here with Professor Ward, the intern here at the CPAC office. So welcome, and what tell us a little bit about your job here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me. And I do a lot of basic work stuff, you know, typing, filing, stuff like that. All right, cool. So why did you join the Summer Hire program? You know, a lot of people join just for the money, but I join for the work experience because I know I want to have a good career. Awesome. Okay, so you have two options. You can either work in a lion cage all summer or an underwater shark biting arena. Which one and why? A lion cage because I can't swim. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can you tell me where we are, who you work for, and a little bit about your job here? Uh, this is the Team Center and I work for Miss Anya and Mr. Jared and I help out with the activities they do at the Team Center. We are at the Youth Center. I work for Miss Lisa in the Parent Central. And what's the third question? I am a youth sports assistant, and I work for Miss Raina Goodlow. It's Raina, and I am the youth sports assistant. Okay, so can you tell me where we are, who you work for, and a little bit about your job? All right, cool. So why did you join Summer Hire? Well, first I needed the money and I thought it would be a good experience to put on my job applications too. All right, cool. So you have two options. You can either, one, work in a lion cage all summer or in an underwater shark fighting arena. Which one and why? I don't know. Maybe the lion one? Because I'd rather be not underwater. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you. And what do you do? I work as a receptionist. All right, cool. So why did you join the Summer Hire program? I joined to learn how to communicate better with people. All right, awesome. So you have two options. You can either, one, work in a lion cage all summer, or you can work in an underwater shark fighting arena. Which one and why? The lion cage, because I like lions. All right, awesome. Well, thank you. Why did you join the Summer Hire program? Well, because I needed the money before I went back to the States, and also I thought it would be a good experience before I get a part-time job in the States. All right, cool. So you have two options. You can, one, 
work in a lion cage all summer, or two, work in an underwater shark fighting arena. Which one and why? Shark fighting arena, I'd rather not go up against Klaus. Why did you join the summer hire program? First, I need to make friends and I need experience for a job. Alright, cool. So you have two options. You can either one, work in a lion cage all summer, or an underwater fighting, shark fighting arena. Which one and why? Lion cages. I work at the CYS at the Teen Center and I just help out with anything I can. Alright, cool. So why did you join the summer hire program? Because I wanted to do something over the summer and for the, I needed the money. Alright, cool. So you have two options. You can either one, work in a lion cage all summer or an underwater shark fighting arena. Which one and why? I would guess the second one. All right, cool. Thank you. I got Jared. He arguably has one of the coolest jobs at Camp Humphreys. I could make an argument in favor. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I love my job. Absolutely. Just getting to hang out and have fun over there at the Youth and the Teen Center. And you guys, over the summer, um, with the help of a few teens, made probably the coolest place to hang out if you're a teenager at Camp Humphreys. It is, in my opinion. It's one of the things I'm, I'm so proud of. It. It's uh, our new Teen Cyber Lounge. Um, and again, this was a was created to address an issue that the youth brought to our attention. Um, is the high school youth want a space of their own? Yes. Um, you know, if you're in ninth, tenth, eleventh, or twelfth grade, you don't want to be hanging around with sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Um, so we were able to locate a uh, a space right across the street from where we currently are. Cool. Um, and we created a teen cyber lounge. And what it is, it's open to only high school students, ninth through twelfth grade. Um, and we decked it out. I mean, it's got Xbox Ones, PlayStation 4s, all the newest video games. Um, we just got Alienware gaming computers that just arrived two days ago. Um, so those are in the process of being hooked up right now. That's amazing. Um, great top of the line furniture. You wouldn't believe the bean bags. I, I can't. I can't put them into words. <laughs> They're so comfortable. Um, so if you're in high school, um, you need to stop by Building 570, the new Teen Cyber Lounge, um, and check out what we have going on over there. Uh, Wi-Fi is hooked up in there. Uh, free Wi-Fi for you. Like I said, all the latest latest new video games, big screen TVs, lounge furniture. You guys um, got chargers. coffee. We got phone chargers. It's stations amazing. For, you know, you can plug in your phones. Just hang out, relax, uh, and, and just enjoy yourself. It's really a great, uh, great building. So it's building 570. Um, it's right across the street from building 427. And again, that's open uh, for high schoolers, 9th through 12th grade. And we're currently open Monday through Friday from 4 to 8 p.m. Um, but as, as demand asks for it, um, we can extend those hours. Um, so we just, you know, more youth that want to come through the door, they want us to keep it open longer. We got the people that are willing to do it, to open the doors whenever they want. Um, so just come on in and check it out. Building 570, the Teen Cyber Lounge. Definitely the place to be over there if you're a high schooler at Camp Humphreys. And just getting to the either the Teen Center, the Youth Center, or the Teen Cyber Lounge, um, you actually have transportation all figured out to come directly from the school to um, your building over there. Yes, like I said, we're, we're trying to make it as easy as possible. Oh, we yeah. want as many people to come as, as, as they can. Um, so we do have bus transportation available to all CYS registered youth um, free of charge. Um, we're at school every day right after school. We are the last two buses along the big long bus line. So okay. anybody who goes to Humphreys High School knows where the bus line is. Um, we're the very last two buses. 
Um, we have a bus just for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, and we have a bus for the high school students, so just 9th through 12th graders. Um, and again, it's free. There's no pre-sign-up needed. You just have to be registered with CYS, um, and we will shuttle bus you straight from school over to uh, the teen center at Building 427. I'm sorry, the youth center at Building 427. Or we can take you directly to the teen cyber lounge, uh, which is at Building 570. So again, right after school, our staff is right out there standing outside the bus to welcome you on board, and we'll take you right to where you want to go. And absolutely free as long as you're registered. And for those families that maybe just got here to Camp Humphreys and need to get registered with CYSS, what's the easiest way to do that, Jared? The easiest way is to call our Parent Central office. Uh, the phone number is 753 753- 8274. Um, the ladies over there will help you make an appointment at building 1127 um, to come on in and fill out two or three uh, pieces of paper with emergency contact information, medical information, things like that. Um, and you will be, it's free of charge, and you will be registered to take part in everything that the Youth Center has to offer to Teen Cyber Lounge, field trips, special events, the free bus from school. Again, all they need to do is call Parent Central at 753 753- 8274 to set up a registration appointment. Very cool. And we will be back. I got your weather forecast, and we're going to wrap up here with Jared next on Anthonos on the Eagle. I've had Jared hanging out with me from the Camp Humphreys CYSS telling us about the Youth Center, the Teen Cyber Lounge, all sorts of awesome events that they have going on now that school's ramped back up. Jared, it's nice to see you again. Well, it's good to be back. i, I got to be honest, I was a little nervous today. It's been so long. It's like the first time again. But <laughs> I, I'll get back into a routine. Yeah, no, you did great as usual. Um, so many new clubs kicking off for the fall. You can get more information on Keystone, Torch Club, 4-H clubs all over at the youth center and you guys got a few special events coming up absolutely a big one a home uh, middle school homecoming dance on october 18th um, we got a trip out to ak plaza on october 11th um, you can see our entire calendar for october if you go to humphrey cyss team on facebook or just give me a call at 753-5614 Or stop by building 427. Um, I can give you a copy of the calendar. You want to give me a call, I can email you a copy of the calendar. Or go to the Facebook page, Humphrey CYSS Teen. We have things going on every single day of the week, except for Sunday, closed on Sundays. Um, But we're open Monday through Friday, uh, Monday through Saturday, excuse me, 10 o'clock. Open till 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. And we're open till 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday. So stop by and see us, building 427. Definitely a cool, safe, and secure place to hang out. And the staff over there is awesome, including yourself. Jared. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for coming over. There are so many activities to do at the Youth Center this month. There's something fun for everyone, so get out and get active. Well, that was episode 9, YCTV, Why Not? You can watch us on the Garrison Command channel or on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash USAG Humphreys. We'll see you next month.